Boolean matrices, or matrices made of bits, are going to help us understand relations a little bit better. So a bit is a member of the set 0, 1, with operations meet, join, and complement. You should actually recognize these operations. Join is defined to be 0 only if both of the bits involved are 0 and 1 otherwise. Meet is defined to be 1 if both of the bits involved are 1 and is 0 otherwise. And the complement of a bit is just the opposite of whatever that bit is. So if a is 1, a complement is 0, and vice versa. These should remind you a lot of the connectives, conjunction, disjunction, and negation from logic. For example, let's look at the bit 1 meet the complement of 0 join 1. 0 join 1 is 1. The complement of 1 is 0 and 1 meet 0 is 0. A Boolean matrix is just a rectangular array of bits. We say that an M by N Boolean matrix has M rows and N columns. Here's an example of the matrix A, which we will call the matrix 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Matrices are typically denoted with subscript ij to refer to the entry in the ith row and jth column. In this particular matrix, the entry in the second row and third column is a 0, while the entry in the third row second column is a 1. Here's some handy words that'll help us understand matrices and therefore relations a little bit better. A square matrix is one where the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. A diagonal entry is any entry where the row and column index are the same. And a diagonal matrix is one where only the diagonal entries are allowed to not be zero. Every off diagonal entry is zero. The identity matrix, denoted I sub n, is a diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are all equal to one. Here is an example of a square matrix, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, 1. Here is an example of a diagonal matrix, 0, 1, 1, and then all the off diagonal entries have to be 0. And here is I3 with 1s down the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Finally, if A and B are both M by N Boolean matrices, we can say that A is less than or equal to B if the entry AIJ is always less than or equal to the entry BIJ, thinking of these as numbers. For example, let's look at the matrix 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and the matrix 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Since the right-hand matrix never has a zero where the left-hand matrix has a one, this less than or equal to relationship is satisfied. On the other hand, if we have the matrix uh, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, it is not less than or equal to the matrix zero, one, 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 because the first row, first column entry is not less than the one on the right side.